Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, or back to my channel, or to my channel for the first time, if you just found me. I have my scent bird for, I don't know if this is October or November, it actually showed up on like November 1st. It might have been October's, but I am not certain. Let's get into this and see what I have here. First off, I noticed I got one of these. It's this little bag, and it's kind of like very natural feeling, almost like a I want to say a burlap kind of thing, but burlap has like a negative sounding connotation to it because it sounds kind of cheap, but it's not. It's just very natural fabric. Um, and then I got a whole bunch of cards and I'm like, what is even, what is going on here? Oh, by the way, hi, I'm Mary. This is Nightmare Bliss. I do unboxings. Um, my studio is a mess because right now I'm reorganizing everything and redoing the backdrop here a little bit. Uh, don't worry, it's not going to turn into Christmas. Have we met? <laughs> Have we met? It's going to turn into Halloween Part 2, Nightmare Before Christmas, is what this is going to turn into. Anyway, I do unboxings. I do makeup. I do skincare. I love to do giveaways. I'm trying to get to 900 subs and then to 1,000 by the end of the year so that we can do, oh my god, I want to celebrate the holiday season doing my 1,000 sub giveaway. So let's keep going. If you haven't subscribed, please consider liking this, but also subscribing. And it doesn't cost you anything. It's free. I don't bother you if you're a subscriber. I don't do anything. Nope. So just bing, hit the little subscribe thing. Bing, what the hell was that? Anyway, I'm a retired hairstylist, makeup artist, esthetician, and nail tech. I didn't do these. I was never this good. Uh, I was good at nails, but I did not do fancy stuff like this. I am going to be getting these redone in the next week and I'm kind of sad. I love my Halloween nails. I'm still going to have spooky nails. They're still going to be pointy and spooky. I'm really used to these now. I love these. So I'm keeping them. I've been working out in the yard. I've been doing everything so far. Knock on wood. Haven't broken them up. Uh, so I used to do all that stuff in Detroit and now I play with my hair and change it crazy colors all the time and I do my makeup and all my things here for YouTube, for you, so you know what is good, what isn't good. I especially love indie brand makeup. That is my focus on my channel. You will not see a lot of uh, mainstream brands, you know, Urban Decay, that kind of stuff. You just won't see it. I'm very into small indie brands. Occasionally I will have something that's not a small indie brand. For example, this look I was wearing today, I was wearing the Clinique, um, what's it called, Black Honey or something like that? Yeah, Black Honey. Anyway, it's been sitting on my desk, but, you know, I wouldn't normally buy that, but I like it. It's really nice. I said that in my creating this look earlier. I will put a card of this look. It's kind of all coming off now. I guess this is a little bit of a wear test, too. I've had this on for I don't know how many hours at least eight and I did lose a lot of my eye makeup because I was working outside and my allergies went crazy and then I was rubbing my eyes so the shadow is still on on the top I am wearing the Natasha Denona new Zendo palette well I don't know how new it is but it came in boxy premium again not normally something I would buy but it came in my boxy premium and I got it I paid for that box so I'm gonna wear it and I also paid for my scent bird. I do want to make a note, uh, scent bird. I know you guys love watching my scent bird reviews. I am going to be pulling out a lot of my old scent birds from earlier this year. I think what I'm going to do for the rest of this month in December is maybe rank all my scent birds from the year. I'm thinking about doing a ranking because I went on my scent bird. I put off my scent bird for like two or three months and they asked why and I said I have way too many I haven't even been able to wear all these I was going through one a month but then I got some other fragrances I like like I got go to hell notoriously morbid got this in my countdown to Halloween mm, queens of scream and I love this so I get all kinds of different scents not just scent bird so I'm finding it hard to use one of these per month and now I'm getting two a month I I I have to be bathing in it. I just, I can't use it all. So I got the two cards and it sucks because there's a lot of scents that I really want to get. I made my whole queue up for like the next year on Scentbird. You can do that. And it's really fun. I sit in bed at night and I pick out all the scents that I want to try and I set up a queue and 
the ones that are limited edition or that aren't going to be around that long, I bump to the top to get those first. And that's what I think these two are. But then I got these two extra cards. And this says Sack Select. And they started doing this thing called Sack Select. Experience our collection of more than 30 premium scents curated by an expert. Sacks Fifth Avenue Fragrance Buyer. But they're yours with an additional premium charge of $10. So they have like Creed, they have Aqua de Parma, they have um, a bunch of places, Sicily, a bunch of things, Ex Nihilo, Initio, a bunch of things I can't pronounce, participating brands. With our compliments, receive an exclusive black atomizer case with every sex select scent purchase. I guess that's cool because you get an extra really fancy bougie case. And you also get a unique code for 15% off a full-size fragrance purchase at Saks.com. I do have something from Saks on my list, so I'll let you know if I end up getting that. I don't know when I get it, though. It'll probably be January or February. I think I'm skipping December for sure. So then I got another little Scentbird card, and it says, Welcome to Scentbird. We're thrilled to have you here. Discover your world of fragrance month after month. So they have a new atomizer thingy. You know the little white ones, the little colors, and you just twist them up, and yeah. So they have those. Well, they have a different one now. I don't think I like it. So they have rate your scent, update your queue. So this is, let me tell you about the queue thing really quick, and then we'll get into what showed up this month. Update your queue. Want to plot out the next few months or make last minute additions? You can make changes to your queue until the day before your billing date. After that point, your monthly fragrance selection will be locked in. Queue updates will apply to the next month. So I do like that, that you can set up a queue and then I kind of go, well, here's that way I'm not getting random things that I don't want. That's why I do that. So I got this new case and I thought, well, this is kind of cool. It's, it feels kind of neat. It's kind of like a soft, it's hard, but it's, it's hard, but it's soft. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's got almost like a velvety, um, I don't know the word I'm looking for. It's got a cool texture to it. It opens like this. It just comes right apart. And then your scent bird atomizer is in here. Now, um, this is Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Noir. And I think, you know, if you've been watching, I already have like two or three of the Juicy Couture different scents. This is the Viva La Juicy Noir. I did not get this one yet. And I know I like all the other ones. So I'm like, let me try this one. Want to flirt, but keep it clean. Then Viva La Juicy Noir with its girlish swirl, girlish, of berries, vanilla, and car caramel. Caramel amber is just the ticket. Berries, vanilla, caramel, honeysuckle, and gardenia. The bottle is really cool. I wouldn't mind having that on my counter. That one's really pretty. But they changed the atomizer. Look, it's rounded at the bottom. And then it's got this gold wackadoo thing at the top, right, that turns. Okay. Um... It goes in here. Now, I don't know if every one of them now going forward is going to be like this, but I don't like this. <laughs> it's kind of like, this is like magnetized or something. And then it says like, when you go this way, okay, this there's a little notch in it that's unlocked. Then you push that down. And then you turn it this way and it's locked. Um, I liked that the other one the top didn't stick out at all. Like it went it went right down into it and then you twist it up. I liked that better. I don't know why they changed to this. Anyway, this is the Viva La Juicy Noir and I have to admit I wore this earlier today. So I will okay, watch. I'm this okay, look, now it's stuck. It gets stuck down. When I push this down I have to pull it back up. It's getting stuck every single time. That is aggravating. Stuck. Pull it back up. So I can't go spritz or spritz. I have to like push it down, pull it back up, push it down, pull it back. And I've tried to get this thing to work better and it doesn't. This thing just, I don't know if I got a defective one or what, but it is not working right. I don't like it. So I don't like this new thing at all. I don't like the new case. I've already broken this open. Like it, it just, if you grab it the wrong way, the whole thing opens up. I really do not like this. Kind of hate it. I like the old cases. Um, anyway, this smells really good. I have worn it. Wore it earlier today and I wore it the first day I got it, which is a couple days ago. 
and it's really nice. It's very light, and it is, it's, I want to say, it's, it's like the, um, the other Juicy that I have, but it's a little bit, it's, it is Viva La Juicy Noir. It definitely has that noir. It has the caramel, the berries. It has a little more depth to it. It's like the nighttime version of the Viva La Juicy. That's about the best way I can put it. So I really like this. And it's it has like the black ribbon and the, you know, so it's the darker version. I really like it. And then I got this, um, Room 1015, Eau de Parfum. And this sounded really interesting. Uh, a woody and wild fragrance as a tribute to the 1970s rock and roll era. Now you know why I got it, right? I tried to imagine what could be the scent of this hotel room in which so many things have happened. A burned sandalwood with fresh notes of mandarin and violet was a perfect match for a rebel touch. Rock on, Dr. Mike. So, see, again, it has the rounded bottle, so you can't set it on anything. It's going to roll over. And then it's got this stupid gold top. I hate gold. I don't know if you guys know that, but I'm not a fan of things that are gold. Everything I have is silver. So I don't like the gold. I don't like this container. I don't like the case. I don't like anything about this. Um, I mean, it feels a little more bougie, like with the test tube kind of thing, but I don't like this top. It's like, you know, I can always test these really easily now, unless I put that in there. I can't even hold this. I can't hold this to push this down. This, this top is way too big. It's too long. It's too tall. I really can't freaking stand it. Um, this is enough to make me, this new packaging is enough to make me want to quit getting scent birds because I don't like it. It's hard to use. Now I have to put this one in here just so I can test it. And then let's see if this one sticks too. But this thing, I pull this apart so much. I would be breaking this and dropping these constantly. I like the old packaging better. Okay, I'm done bitching about it. Let me try this. Okay, this one at least isn't sticking. See? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, you know the movie The Doors? You know the band The Doors? This scent is like, the first thing that popped in my head was like The Doors movie. I just imagine that walking into one of the parties or something, this would, <laughs> what it would smell like. That 70s rock and roll era. I mean, I think they were a little bit, you know, is anyway. Um, oh, wait, when was the doors? I can't remember when that was. Anyway, but this ha just has that like the sandalwood. It, it smells like incense burning. Oh my god, I love that mandarin, saffron, iris, and violet. Wow. I don't know how they did it, but it almost has like a weird, like leather jackety kind of fragrance to it. And there's nothing in there that suggests that. I think it's just the sandalwood and the saffron maybe, but it smells like incense. It smells like I'm wearing sandalwood incense, but with, it's got the mandarin, the iris, and the violet, but I don't get the violet and the iris, you don't get any kind of, it, if you smelled it, you wouldn't think it was a floral. So that's interesting. Ooh, I really like this. Well, I think I'm going to leave this one in here, but see, just, look, I'm just holding it and this thing is starting to come apart. So this one keeps getting stuck. So that's messed up. I think I am going to write to Scentbird and say, I do not like the new packaging at all. I don't know if you're taking suggestions on it, but I hate it. Um, I really don't like how this thing just like falls apart. Like you barely, look, like barely touch it. Like I bump it with my nails and it comes apart because there's a thing on the bottom and like that. That's not what I wanted to do. But yeah, I barely, you know, if you grab it the wrong way, it's just going to pop open. And I know it's magnetic, but... I don't think it's a strong enough magnet. <laughs> I would be dropping this. And if you drop this on the floor, this is going to split in half and your bottle's going to break. I'm just saying. I That will happen. This is going to split in half, fall on the floor, and the bottle will break. In the other containers that they have, the other little travel containers and things, 
I really don't get the feeling like I've dropped those before and I've never had a bottle shatter. But I am guessing that if I drop this on my bathroom floor, this thing's going to crack in half. The two halves are going to go two separate ways and the bottle's going to break right on my floor. I'm, I'm calling it now. I'm hoping I never drop this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just never going to be able to open this and use it in my bathroom because I'm really afraid I'm going to drop it and it's going to fall apart because I have a tile floor in there so the glass will shatter and go everywhere. Uh, so the scents, 10 out of 10, love them. The new packaging, 0 out of 10, I absolutely hate it. And you come here for Honest Reviews, and there is your Honest Review. I hate it. I hate the gold. I think it actually looks cheap because it's like, it's like gold, but it's like plastic. So I think it actually cheapens it. I think it makes it look cheaper. I mean, it kind of looks drugstore now. I'm sorry, Scentbird, but it looks drugstore. It doesn't look bougie. It doesn't look fancy. It doesn't give me expensive scents. And I know these are expensive perfumes. These are eau de parfum, but it it's giving cheap. It's giving cheap plastic and magnetic thing that breaks apart and your perfume shatters. So I am kind of glad that I'm holding off on getting more of these. And I'm hoping maybe I'll hold off until they change the packaging back if enough people complain. But I don't, I just don't like it. It's not intuitive. It's not easy to spray if you have small hands or... Remember when Rare Beauty came out, everybody's talking about, oh, is this for people who have trouble handling things or holding things or who are maybe disabled or something? And they were talking about the Rare Beauty packaging. This packaging, if you had any kind of fibromyalgia, if you have any kind of problems with your hands, if you have arthritis, I can guarantee you will not be able to spray this. It will be so difficult for you. It's hard for me to spray this, and there's nothing wrong with my hands. I just find it like trying to hold this thing have it not when you're holding it have it not pop open and then trying to push this thing down that does not it's so hard to spray both of these I have to like really push them down really hold it and the spray comes out the other one was like a nice mist if you go back and watch I'll, I'll try to remember to put a card at the end my other scent birds I was just like ch 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 effortless I was I've been fighting with these since I got them don't like them. So that's it. I wish I could be more happy about this scent bird. I love the fragrances. I just hate the new packaging. And I hope they go back to the old packaging or something better because this ain't it, sis. This ain't it. Scent bird, this ain't it. Ain't it. No, ma'am. Don't like it. Um, and the thing is, too, if you... Okay, I'm going to say one more thing and then I'm going to go. If you have the old packaging and you want to put these in, I don't think they fit. I don't think these are going to fit in the old packages. So you can't even put these in the packages. I don't even, I haven't tried it, but it's like a different shape on the bottom. It's not flat. And this top is so big, I don't know if it's going to fit in there. I'll try it. I'll get back to you. Um, but yeah, I don't like it. If I do hear back from Scentbird uh, after I message them and do a review of this and comment on the new packaging, I'll let you know and I'll do a little update and maybe I'll try this and see if it does fit in the old packaging. Still, even if it did, I don't like this big, ugly plastic gold spray top. I think it's hideous. I think it's annoying. It's got all those little lines in it, so it's going to get all crudded up. It's going to look dirty. The other ones were silver. They were plain. They were simple. I liked the minimalist thing. I don't like this at all. Don't like it. Okay, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.